Picture a universe vast and silent, where secrets hide in the shadows of stars. For centuries, we've gazed at the night sky, mapping constellations, charting galaxies, and yet, a mystery lingers one that holds the key to the cosmos itself. What if the invisible force shaping our universe, the enigmatic dark matter, isn't just out there but already within our grasp? What if the machines we've built to push the boundaries of computation are unknowingly tapping into the very fabric of reality? Welcome to a story that could rewrite physics, a tale of particles so elusive they've dodged our finest instruments, and a technology so powerful it might just catch them. This is the story of the Axion, the quantum revolution, and a discovery that could change everything we thought we knew. Let's start with the basics, but don't worry this isn't a dry lecture. Imagine the universe as a cosmic puzzle, and dark matter is the piece we've been missing. It's invisible, doesn't glow, doesn't absorb light, yet it makes up nearly a third of everything out there. Without it, galaxies would fly apart, stars wouldn't form, and the universe as we know it wouldn't exist. Scientists have chased this phantom for decades, proposing all sorts of candidates massive particles, ghostly neutrinos, even exotic black holes. But one tiny contender stands out, the axion. It's not your average particle, ultralight, almost weightless, it drifts through the cosmos like a whisper, barely brushing against the matter we know. And yet, this delicate particle might hold the answers to questions we've barely begun to ask. The axion wasn't born as a dark matter candidate. Its story starts with a problem so perplexing it's kept physicists awake at night. Deep in the world of quantum chromodynamics the science of the strong nuclear force that glues protons and neutrons together there's a glitch. The strong force should, in theory, behave differently when time is flipped backward. It's like watching a movie in reverse. The laws of physics should look the same, but for the strong force, they don't quite add up. This mismatch, known as the strong CP problem, is like a crack in the foundation of physics. Enter the axion, a particle dreamed up to patch this crack. It's a neat fix, a way to balance the equations and make the strong force play by the rules. But then, something extraordinary happened. Physicists realized this tiny particle could do more than solve a theoretical puzzle it could be the dark matter we've been hunting. Quantum computers aren't your average laptops. They're machines that dance with the strange rules of quantum mechanics where particles can be in multiple states at once, where entanglement links distant objects in ways that defy logic. These machines don't just crunch numbers, they probe the very nature of reality. And here's where things get wild. Some scientists believe quantum computers might be the key to finding axions. How? It starts with something called quantum fluctuations, tiny jitters in the fabric of space itself. These fluctuations are everywhere even in the emptiest corners of the universe, and axions, if they exist, might leave a faint mark on them. Quantum computers, with their ability to measure the unmeasurable, could pick up these marks, like a radio tuning into a cosmic signal, but it gets stranger. Imagine quantum entanglement, that spooky phenomenon where two particles become so linked that one instantly affects the other, no matter how far apart they are. Some physicists think axions might play a role here, acting like an invisible thread weaving through the quantum world. If true, axions aren't just dark matter they could be part of the machinery that runs reality itself. And quantum computers, built to harness entanglement, might be stumbling onto axions without us even realizing it. Picture this. Every time a quantum computer runs a calculation, it might be brushing against the edges of dark matter, like a ship grazing an unseen reef in the cosmic sea. Let's dive into the experiments pushing this idea forward. At places like Fermilab, scientists are using quantum sensors devices so sensitive they can detect changes smaller than a proton's whisper. These sensors, built on superconducting qubits, are designed to spot the faint electromagnetic ripples axions might cause. Unlike traditional detectors, which often destroy what they measure, these quantum setups can watch the same system over and over, building a clearer picture of the nose. Early results have been tantalizing with hints of signals that don't quite fit our expectations. Are these axions or just the universe playing tricks? No one knows yet, but the possibility is electrifying. Across the ocean, at Alto University, researchers are taking a different tack. They've built a device to hunt for axion waves, a phenomenon where axions might transform into photons under just the right conditions. It's like catching a ghost by the flicker of its shadow. Their experiments had picked up anomaly signals that don't match known physics. 
Could these be the first glimpses of axions? The data is still being analyzed, but the buzz in the scientific community is palpable. These aren't just experiments, they're a race to rewrite the rules of the universe. Across the ocean, at Alto University, researchers are taking a different tack. They've built a device to hunt for axion waves, a phenomenon where axions might transform into photons under just the right conditions. It's like catching a ghost by the flicker of its shadow. Their experiments had picked up anomaly signals that don't match known physics. Could these be the first glimpses of axions? The data is still being analyzed, but the buzz in the scientific community is palpable. These aren't just experiments, they're a race to rewrite the rules of the universe. Now, let's talk about something even more mind-bending. Microsoft's recent claims about major anafermions, these aren't your everyday particles. They're their own anti-particles, stable and strange, perfect for building quantum computers that don't fall apart at the slightest disturbance. But here's the kicker. Some theories suggest major anafermions and axions might be cousins, linked by the same quantum weirdness. If Microsoft's work is on the mark, their quantum systems might not just be computing they could be probing the same exotic states where axions hide. It's a long shot, and skeptics are quick to point out the lack of hard evidence, but the idea is to tantalizing to dismiss. What if, in our quest to build better machines, we've accidentally built axion detectors? Let's pause and consider what this could mean. If axions are real, and if quantum computers are detecting them, we're not just solving the dark matter puzzle. We're opening a door to a universe far stranger than we imagined. Axions might not just be particles, they could be key to understanding how quantum mechanics and gravity talk to each other. For years, physicists have struggled to unite these two pillars of physics into a single theory. Axions, with their ability to dance between the microscopic and the cosmic, might be the bridge we've been searching for. And if they're tied to quantum entanglement, it could reveal that the universe itself is a kind of quantum computer, processing information on a scale we can't yet fathom. But it's not just about theory, if we can detect axions, we might learn to control them. Imagine sensors so sensitive they can map the invisible forces of the cosmos or quantum computers that use axions to store information indefinitely. Picture communication systems that tap into the universe's hidden channels, secure from any interference. These aren't sci-fi fantasies, they're possibilities grounded in the physics we're exploring today. And yet, there's a catch. Science thrives on skepticism, and not everyone is sold on these ideas, those unexplained signals. They could be stray magnetic fields, cosmic nose, or experimental errors. The major anaxion link, it's a hypothesis, not a fact. The road to proving axions exist is long, and it's paved with rigorous tests and peer-reviewed data.